to Shona Bakes with Bake Off. <laughs> so this week was biscuit week and I have decided to do a millionaire shortbread. Now I looked at the bakes that they were doing on the actual show but for me unfortunately I don't own many baking bits and because I'm not getting paid for this I didn't really want to spend too much money on it and so I have made millionaire shortbread which is basically a tray bake and then you cut it up into squares when you're done. So I am very excited for this bake. I really enjoy biscuit week. Biscuit week is something that I don't really do much. Like I'm not a huge biscuit maker or eater. Of course I love cookies but who doesn't? But they're easy. But doing something like this is something completely new and different to me so I'm very excited for it. And let me know what you thought of the episode too. I absolutely loved the childhood memory toy thing at the end with the sculptures. I don't know what I'd make, to be honest with you. All I could think of was Barbie, but then <laughs> can you imagine a biscuit Barbie? That would be a bit much. But yes, yeah, so we're going to make Millionaire Shortbread today. Please like if you enjoy this video, subscribe for more. I do these every week with Bake Off on Friday at 5pm. And yes, let's just get into it. Let's see how this goes. So I have the oven preheating to 150 degrees Celsius and I am going to get my bowl. And we are going to mix in the ingredients for the shortbread. So I'm starting with 225 grams of plain flour. So I just got this standard plain white flour. And next I add 175 grams of unsalted butter and this should be cubed. So I'm going to turn this off and on again so I can find exactly 175 grams and I'm going to cube this as I cut it and get the right amount. Oh five more grams. There we go. And now we are going to mix, oh, horrible noise, those two ingredients together with our trusty spoon. It does say in the recipe to use a food processor, but I am not middle class enough for that. So in the end, I did use the spoon for a bit, but it did say to mix it with your hands as well. So I took my clean hands, thank you. No nails were lost in the production. And I have squished it all together now to make a lovely butter flour concoction. And next I am adding 75 grams of caster sugar. So put that back on there. And we go in with the very standard caster sugar. And now we have to combine this. So I'll probably do this with my hands off camera because I can't imagine it's the most attractive thing to look at. And now we have all that combined in here. It doesn't look like a lot, but I think it will be okay as a base. I am now going to grab the crease proof paper covered square tins, this is what the tin looks like and I put the grease through paper over the top um, just so it doesn't stick and I'm now going to plop this into a hair. There we go, lovely. And now we need to just flatten this out. So it said to start out by flattening it with a spoon. So that is exactly what we shall be doing. But it also said to flatten it down with your knuckles. So I am also going to take that route of doing things as well. So let's just get that off the spoon. There we go. And we'll just flatten this down. It's like making sandcastles. But remember, this is being covered with chocolate and caramel. So it doesn't have to be completely perfect or square as I'm sure it won't be seeing as my parchment paper is never perfect but there is 
The shortbread. I've got two here, look. Oh. Let's pull that second one out a minute. <laughs> so there we go. My very flattened shortbread. I'm going to stick that into the oven for 20 minutes. It says half an hour, but I'm going to put in 20 minutes and check it and then give it another 10 minutes if it needs it, but it should come out looking golden brown. So let's get this in the oven. Right guys, so we've now got the shortbread out the oven. This is how that is looking. She is a bit overcooked just because I was a bit worried about how well she would be cooked but i think it's absolutely fine i don't know why i refer to all my bakes as she and so now we are moving on to the caramel now this is the awkward part because i'm doing it in my metal aluminium i think i don't know some form of metal saucepan on the oven but i can't show you that because i don't want to go wrong Simply, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the ingredients on camera and then we're going to see how this turns out and then I will show you me pouring it onto the bake. So I need 150 grams of butter, one can of condensed milk and 100 grams of golden syrup. So we're going to start with the butter that is left over from the shortbread. And then just use this block for the rest. There we go, that'll do. And then we will get the... Oh, that's an issue. So right now I'm adding the condensed milk into um, the concoction and you might be thinking, Shona, that's not usually how you um, add something <laughs> to your bake. No, um, see the issue was, um, I don't own a can opener. <laughs> so um, what I did instead, I think that's all we're getting out of there, is um, I stabbed the can. Ah, there's more. <laughs> I stabbed the can to get the condensed milk out. Um, and this may not be the best way of going about it. But it's the only way I could think of because it's half nine. I couldn't get hold of anyone. I didn't try, to be honest with you. And so I just... Um, stabbed the can. So yeah, lovely. But we now have our condensed milk. We are 25 grams off, but I'm sure that's fine. Fun times, <laughs> very fun times. And now we add 100 grams of golden syrup. And thankfully this is in a squeezy tube and not in a can that I cannot open. Ha ha, puns, cannot. Oh, this takes forever. There we go. And now I'm going to take this over to the... <sighs> Can you tell how dumb I, done I am in making caramel already? Um, and now I'm going to put this on the hob and make hopefully some lovely caramel. Oh, that's all sticky. I will see you in a mo. Right, so after all those issues with the um, milk, I finally have a lovely looking caramel sauce. So what I'm going to do, I've got my bake here and I'm just going to drizzle it over top and hope for the best. <laughs> and what we will do, we will spread it out, of course. I've let it cool for a moment just so it um, is thick because with most sauces, if you leave them to cool for a bit, they do become thicker, which is what you want in the sort of caramel layer on Millionaire Shortbread. And I love how I'm talking as if I know what I'm on about. And to be fair, you can't see it very well and I don't want to lift it up while it's still wet, 
but the actual layering is looking really good so I'm going to let that set for a bit and then we'll come back with the final part which is the chocolate woohoo right so now our caramel has set I'll say that again because you can't hear me now our caramel has set quite well I am going to get our chocolate so I have two milk chocolate bars and two dark chocolate bars and I am going to do what I do every time in a chocolate baking video. I'm going to melt them in a bowl in the microwave as I do not have a bowl that would sit over a saucepan. Now it does say to do dark chocolate but I'm not a huge fan of dark so I'm going to do a mixture because I do feel that the caramel might be quite sweet if we just do milk. So it's 350 grams so I'm doing 175 of milk and 175 of dark. Five grams more. There we go, perfect, right? So we will put this into the microwave for Let's start with a minute. So we now have our bowl of melted chocolate. The only issue with it is it's very hot, but I also don't want the chocolate to um, cool too much. So, um, I guess we just go for it. Right, right. Oh, it's so hot, right, do it quick. Oh. Lovely. Right, I have my tiny spatchy spatch. Just gonna get all of that out there. Let's just smooth this out on here and see how it goes. Certainly covering it, which is good to see. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, I'm proud of that. Can you see that? You can see that a bit. Look at that. Right, lovely. So I'm going to eat the chocolate off the spatch. Oh, so good. And then I'm going to let this cool. And I'll be back at some point when it's ready to be cut up to show you how we'd be looking. Delicious. Right, so I have left the shortbread to cool for a little while. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the chocolate on top, very chocolatey. And what I'm going to do, I've got a new chopping board out and I'm going to transfer the shortbread onto the chopping board and hopefully chop it into little pieces. So first things first, we need to get it out of the paper. Look at that. Right, let's find an edge where you can see the caramel. So you can see the caramel under the chocolate. The chocolate is quite thick, but I'm quite happy with that. Look at all that caramel there. Lovely. Right, and now I am going to take our big knife, our big knife, and I'm going to cut this up. Oh. Now I will say they're not going to be very even just because I'm just trying to get through it and I'm not going on Bake Off so they don't need to be the most presentable, they just need to be tasty. There we go and now I'm going to cut them long ways, as not long ways, the other way as well. We got some thick caramel going on here, guys. There we go. Let me just grab one of these pieces. And this is what it looks like. Look at those layers. How lush. Look at those layers. Oh, that looks delicious. So I'm going to plate these up, make them look more presentable, and we'll give one a taste. 
And here we have it. How exciting. So these are my millionaire shortbreads. Now, as you can see, the shortbread, oh, it smells so good. As you can see, the shortbread didn't hold together too well. That is because I did over bake it just slightly, but I've never made shortbreads before. <laughs> I've never made shortbread before. <laughs> I've never made shortbread before, so I didn't know how it was going to come out, but it actually tastes really good. The caramel came out really well. The chocolate is chocolate, so it's going to be delicious, but these are so good. So I'll grab one and I will show you it on its own so you can really see what it looks like. So here we have a millionaire shortbread piece. This is how it looks. You can see the defined layers. Um, you've got a good layer of chocolate on the top. To be fair, they're all quite um, equal where you've got a good chunk of shortbread at the bottom, a nice thick layer of caramel, and then a good chunk of chocolate at the top. It looks absolutely delicious. So, so tasty. I've had a couple already, I won't lie to you, and it tastes insane absolutely insane but actually for someone look at that it looks like a twix <laughs> for someone oh twix is caramel shortbread wow i never thought about that before but for someone who has never baked a biscuit type apart from cookies like i said earlier i think this came out really really well i love the look of it it tastes incredible as i said the chocolate offsets the caramel quite nicely, the shortbread brings it all together and it just is absolutely delicious. I would say my only thing, as I said, the shortbread is very crumbly and that's because I left it in the oven just slightly too long. So I'd say really be careful with your timings and kind of working out what shortbread's meant to look like. When I had baked it for the time that the recipe said, it looked too, um, anemic <laughs> it just looked really pale it didn't look good and so i left it in a bit longer but i think i did leave it too long and i should have bought it out then and then it would have continued cooking as it was in the pan but out of the oven but no it's absolutely delicious i'm absolutely in love with this and i highly highly recommend you give this a go it wasn't that hard to make um you just gotta keep an eye on things like the caramel takes a while to get to where it needs to be but once it's there you've got to keep stirring it otherwise it will burn and that's just no one wants that but no this is absolutely delicious and look at that line of chocolate on the top as well look at that oh, yum but yes so this is my bake for this week it's absolutely incredible i oh i'm obsessed i'm literally obsessed so i highly recommend this recipe and i am going to enjoy eating these but i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe if you did as i said at the start every friday at 5 p.m during bake off i am doing a bake off bake and this was biscuit week so let me know what you think and i will see you next time bye